Greetings. It is us delirants. Now let us shift gears here and talk about your current day. Your 8-8 alignment. What you have with endearment termed the Lion's Gate portal. Now let us talk about the aspect of it that is related to Sirius. You have actually mentioned a portion of it, which is the appearance of the star system, Sirius, appearance in the sky, in your hemisphere, in this time of the year. And it is the rising, the, the returning of Sirius, which then helped signify the coming changes, which you know for ancient Egypt was related, uh, their cycles had to do a lot with the Niles because their livelihood depended on it. But there is the interaction of water and of fire, these elements. As the summer, fire, Leo, lion, Lyran aspect of it brings the fire and the Syrian feminine water brings the other face of it. So you have here two forces that are in a way are opposing. And why are they opposing? They are opposing because they are, you could say, um, different poles of the same phenomena. Or easy for humans to understand, two sides of the same coin. So as we mentioned, the Syrian part of it, one, was the mere announcement that this time is here, but also the feminine, the rising of the water, the necessity of the, ri the rising of the water to combat the heat and fire, and to facilitate change, the coming change, through the introduction of the polar element in this way. We hope that we were able to lay down a general perspective of the importance from the two sides of the coin, including the Syrian one, the one that you asked about. Yes. Yes, we will just mention that the peak is the peak of the heat, the peak of the fire, which represents in your world the peak of emotions, the peak of intensity, and the peak of polarity in its nexus point. So the extreme polarity, but the point where it switches from one to the other. So that's what the peak and the fire represent here. And the water also represent the integration on a smoother channel, the integration of the feminine and masculine in that way. The more we go into abstract concepts, the more words elude us. <laughs>